It was the day after Obam, smack dab in the middle of summer. Nothing special, just an ordinary day. The game on TV was between schools from another town. I had nothing to do with either school, but because I tend to sympathize with underdogs, I found myself rooting for the losing team. And that's right about the time my cell phone started ringing. Hey, you're free, right? Oh. Good, then meet us at 2 o'clock in front of the station. But I... And just like that, she hangs up. How does she know I'm not doing anything today? I mean, I could be. Yeah, I know, I'm not doing anything, but still. Hmm? What? I forgot to tell you something. Bring your swim trunks and your bike, too. Oh, and money. Bring money. That's it. Over and out. Uh, no. What was that all about? Kashima is rounding third on his way home. And there's Suzuki on the mound. He is not having a good day. You gotta feel bad for that guy. Oh, that is tragic. He looks like he got the wind totally oh, taken wow. out of him. Even the fans are quiet. They're not even booing Suzuki anymore. So with that, the score is now 8-0. Kumamoto's really got their work cut out for him. I'm here 15 minutes early. How come I'm still the last one to arrive? Okay, now that we're all present and accounted for, we can go. Koizumi, you're gonna have to give Mikudu a ride over there, okay? Huh? Yuki and Neil hop on the back of Kyon's bike. Do you mind if I ask where we're going today? <laughs> to the public pool, where do you think? We've got lots and lots of summer vacation-y things to do during our summer break. We've only got so much time, and once it's gone, it's gone for good, you know? So we're gonna do everything we can while we can during our one and only summer as 10th graders! Once it's gone, it's gone, huh? Smell the chlorine? That really makes it feel like summer! Woohoo! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Hurry up and get in, guys! The water's warm! It's perfect! Can't she see the no diving signs? I mean, they're everywhere. It kind of makes me smile, though. I mean, to see Mrs. Zumiya enjoying herself in a normal way, it's rather charming, isn't it? She called me out of the blue, ran down a list of things to bring, and ordered me to meet her without telling me what was going on. Yeah, there's nothing charming or normal about it. Well, as long as Miss Suzumiya's having a good time, we don't have to worry about any earth-shattering events. Man, I hope you're right. <laughs> I don't think you need to worry about it. I mean, there haven't been any problems since our little outing a few weeks ago. 
And right now, as far as Miss Suzumi is concerned, and as far as we're concerned, the world is at peace. Hmm. Okay, guys, lunchtime! And surprise, surprise, Mikudo made us sandwiches! Wow! <laughs> it's delicious! Thank you very much! I'm gonna have another piece of fried chicken! Pour some tea, Mikudo! Okay! Things do seem peaceful, that's for sure. We're sorry! Yeah, here I come! Now I know why they call it a public swimming pool. Seems like everyone in town's here today. <laughs> oh, come on, Mikudo! You're supposed to catch it! This isn't a bad way to spend a summer vacation. guys are my brigade members. They do what I say, so if you want something, you can ask them. Okay! <sighs> I had a couple ideas about the rest of our vacation. Check it out! What's that thing? It's a schedule of all the things the brigade's gonna do before our vacation ends. The SOS Brigade? You know it. We've only got two more weeks of vacation left, right guys? But it still feels like there's a lot of things left for us to do. I say we gotta pick up the pace. So, you made a schedule of things to do before our vacation ends, huh? Go on a trip, go to the pool, to a bond festival, see fireworks, part-time job, stargazing. That's a lot of stuff. And she expects us to do all this in the next two weeks? Great. Can you think of anything else you want to do? Um, I'd like to try goldfish scooping. Okay, then goldfish scooping it is. We'll start on the list tomorrow. Does anyone know if there's a bond festival happening someplace close by? Or if there's a fireworks show? Why don't you look this stuff up yourself? I'll check around and try to find something. I'll call you if I do, okay? Oh, and don't forget about the goldfish scooping. It's Mikudo's only request. Got it. How come I always get stuck with a check? Because you were late, that's why. And don't you make us wait tomorrow. That's it. See ya. Awesome. Looks like we're going to be running around every day now. The next morning, I was wakened from my peaceful slumber by a call from Haruhi. She said they'd found a bond festival, and it was happening tonight at a park somewhere. Well, that was fast and convenient. I was just beginning to appreciate that fact when Haruhi suddenly said, We're all gonna go out and buy yukatas! Yuki doesn't have one and neither does Mikuru, but I know a place that sells them cheap, so let's go! Haruhi picked out yukatas for Miss Asahina and Nagato, then headed for the changing rooms. This was gonna take a while. After about an hour of standing there and getting strange looks from people, the girls finally decided to come out of the changing room. Uh, whoa! You all look really wonderful in them. I mean... Of course we do! I picked them out myself! Especially Mikudu's! Look at you, you're so cute! I'm a genius! I have awesome fashion sense, don't you think? <laughs> of all the costumes Haruhi has forced her to wear, this one had to be Doesn't the best one the yet. She looks awesome. Yes, she does. I always wondered what it would be like to wear traditional Japanese clothing. It's a little tight around the chest, but it's beautiful. We're ready to go! And now it's off to the Bond Festival to have some fun! <gasps> a Bond Festival, huh? I haven't been to one of these things in a really long time. <gasps> Look, Mikudu! They've got goldfish scooping just like you wanted! I bet you're gonna catch a ton! Don't forget the Black Devil Kings are worth 200 points! Do you want to go scoop some fish, too? We could have a contest to see how many we can catch. I think I'll pass. Besides, I'm more interested in the food around here. How about you, Nagato? Do you want to get some food? Are you actually into that stuff? That. Hmm? It's yours for 800 yen! I caught a 
whole bunch, but I only kept one because I don't have any place to keep all of them. I tried, but I couldn't catch a single one of them. Scooping them up is a lot harder than it looks, huh? Yeah, well, it's rare for anyone to catch a lot, let alone one. If you can figure out the trick, it's easy. Huh? What's with the mask you got there, Yuki? I bought it. I know, but why that one? Maybe she felt some kind of connection to it or something. Because she's an alien. Hmm. Well, okay then. Anyway, there's a ton of stuff over there we haven't seen. You still in fun mode? Of course! Come on, hurry up! But only one, okay? Oh, okay, thanks. Oh. Pretty good, huh? Mm-hmm. You know it. Okay, we've seen just about everything there is to see. So now we're gonna go shoot off some fireworks. Really? Fireworks? We went to all the trouble of dressing up, so we'll end our day with the fireworks show. Why not? There's a booth over there that's selling them. Let's go down by the riverbank. This is going to be so much fun. Come on, let's do this! Kizaki! <laughs> it's pretty. So we did the Bond Festival, fireworks. That's two down. And tomorrow we're gonna go catch some bugs. Uh, Haruhi, I don't want to spoil your fun or anything, but have you finished your summer homework? I should talk. I haven't even touched mine. Are you kidding? That stuff's totally easy. You can finish it all in about three days. Huh? Yeah, I finished doing all my homework in July. You have to get rid of that junk first so you can spend the rest of your summer having fun and not worrying about it. That's the only way to really get the most out of your vacation. Why does she have to be so smart? The folks upstairs weren't terribly fair when they were divvying up the stats for us. So anyway, we're gonna go bug catching tomorrow, and the prize for catching the most bugs is gonna be... Hmm. The winner gets to be brigade leader for a whole day! No, thank you. That sounds like fun. But can we catch just any random bug? Hmm, no. Only cicadas! That's it! I'm calling it the SOS Brigade Cicada Catching Contest! Whoever catches the most cicadas wins! Hmm. <laughs> the next day, I wanted it to rain so bad I drove a nail through a teru, teru bozu. But despite my efforts, the day was clear and beautiful. It was the warmest day of summer so far, and all the cicadas were happy because of it. I wonder if anyone's ever tried eating a cicada. No idea. They could be good fried in tempura. Bon appetit. I always wondered about food that's deep fried in tempura. Maybe the batter they use is what makes everything taste so good. Cause then cicadas would taste great. Apologize to the tempura chefs. Do it! <clears throat> What's wrong with this picture? High schoolers carrying nets and little plastic boxes? Hello, what are you thinking making us hike all the way up here carrying all this stuff? What are you talking about? If we didn't have the nets and the bins, we wouldn't be able to catch cicadas. That's not the point I was trying to make. Okay, let's go hunting. Remember, winner gets to be brigade leader for a day. You ready? Go! Ignored. She looks determined to win, doesn't she? And that would be a good thing, don't you think? Jeez, I haven't done this since elementary school. I know, me too. Come on, let's go have some fun. What's that? You catch one? Yeah, no, that's not a cicada. Oh. A, a Hercules beetle?
tie him up. Mikuru caught one, Yuki caught four, Koizumi caught seven, Kyung caught nine. But the one who caught the most is... Don't say it, we already know. Me! With twelve! I guess I just can't give up being brigade leader even for one day. Sorry about that, you guys. Please tell me that you're not going to batter those things up in tempura and fry them. What? Do you really want to eat them? No, I don't want to eat them. Just kidding. It's important to follow the spirit of catch and release with these guys. You never know. If we let them go now, they might return the favor sometime. Uh. Hurry! Go back to the mountains and try not to get caught anymore! Wait, no. You act like you did a good deed, but all you did was catch him and let him go. Come on. So, the day after our bug hunt, Haruhi was kind enough to get us part-time jobs at a local supermarket that really needed the help. See, they were having a big sale. Well, don't work too hard, okay? And our job was to attract customers. Thank you for coming. Balloon? No. Could someone please tell me why I have to wear this unbearably hot costume? Part-time job? She could have found something a little more appropriate for summer. Look at her, all cool and breezy. I swear, if she gets more money than us, I'm gonna riot. Now I know how a snake feels when it sheds its skin. <laughs> That's a clever way of putting it. Knock knock! The manager's super grateful for all the hard work you did. Who cares how grateful he is? What about our pay? This is it. Huh? This cool frog costume is our pay. I can't tell you how long I've had my eye on him. <laughs> the manager said we could have it because he thought Mikuru looked so darn cute in it. We'll keep him in the club room as a souvenir of today. Mikuru, you have my permission to wear him whenever you want, okay? Isn't he great? Rivet. The pool. The Bond Festival, bug catching, and a part-time job. Next on Haruhi's schedule, stargazing. Wow, that's what a telescope from this time plane looks like? It doesn't seem too different from the ones in Kepler's time. Yeah, no, it's pretty different. Did you buy this just for tonight? Oh no, astronomy was sort of a hobby of mine when I was younger. All it took for me was a glimpse of the moons of Jupiter, and after that, I was hooked. Hmm? I found Mars, have a look. What's real? Martians, of course. I kind of hope they aren't. I mean, octopoid-like monsters wriggling around plotting to take over the planet? Nothing about that sounds appealing to me. Oh, what do you know? And who cares what they look like anyway? They might be friendly. For all we know, they could be a reserved race of beings living in underground caves. Think of that. Whoever they are, I'm sure they're just trying not to scare us Earthlings. The Martians in your imagination sound unbelievably boring. I've had enough of Mars. Let's look for UFOs! On a night like tonight, I bet there's some kind of alien scouting fleet up there. Alright, come on, Mikudu, help me with this! Uh, uh, UFO! UFO! <laughs> <laughs> Our summer vacation continues, and the next thing Haruhi said was... We're going to the batting cages today! Why there? I was watching a high school baseball game this morning, and then it hit me. Why should we settle for baseball in some sandlot? What we need to do is turn the SOS Brigade into a National League team! She got a soap She sure is something. Where does she get her energy from? I bet she's got special mitochondria packed in her cells. More than the average person, anyway. If only she'd use her gifts for good. <sighs> After that, we kept going. Harvey was determined to stick to the schedule she made, so we were constantly on the move, day after day, with no time to hit pause. We went to a real fireworks show. The fireworks burst into bloom in the sky, one after another, leaving us with a grand feeling in our hearts. And on another day, she made all of us enter a Gobi fishing tournament down by the river. Don't worry, 
I see it. I'll go get it. And still another day was the test of courage. It's a summertime must, but I doubt anyone really does it anymore. Then we went to see this overhyped summer blockbuster. It turned out to be the same old, same old. We went to the beach, right in the middle of jellyfish season. Then bowling, but you know who made a rule where no one could leave until everyone got a strike. Then an excruciating karaoke session, designed to push our vocal cords to the limit. Sure, there were a couple of non-summertime things that slipped in, but looking back, I can honestly say we had the time of our lives. The past two weeks were a blast. I declare that on this day, August the 30th, we've done everything on our list. And no one died in the process. Hmm, but now I wonder if we did enough. Maybe if we... No, I guess we did do everything. Unless there's something else you guys wanted to do. No, not really. I think we've done enough. I think I'd like to sleep for a while. How about you? Oh. Oh well, that's cool. We did just about everything we wanted to do this summer. We wore yukatas and caught a lot of cicadas. We went all over the place. I guess that's about it, huh? Please don't tell me there's something else she wants to do. Okay, we're done for today. I set tomorrow aside just in case, but you can just take the day off. I'll see everyone at the club room on Monday. Oh, I still haven't done any of my homework. August 31st, the last day of vacation. No matter how hard I tried, I wasn't gonna finish my homework. Besides, I was still recovering from all that running around. So I made a decision to spend the rest of the day in lounge mode. What the heck? Boring. Oh. Homework? <laughs> yeah, whatever. I guess I'll go to bed now. I got school tomorrow. Beep. <laughs>